Welcome to NXT episode 39. It's been a while since I've recorded because the whole switching to Xbox and then having to recreate everybody because fucking Xbox decided to be retarded. Or my flash drive, or yeah, flash drive that I had decided to be retarded and delete my stuff. So, we're here back at Full Sail University. <laughs> Introducing his opponent, Bull Dempsey. And the match gets underway. Full Sail University, home of NXT. The NXT Arena. This should be very interesting. Charles and Bull Dempsey. This, this is Bull Dempsey's debut on NXT. And who? And I guess what a better person to go with, go against than Charles Jackson. I have to see here. Look at Charles. Oh, with a good drop kick there. Bull Dempsey You're starting to try to get the upper hand on Charles Jackson. I, Bull Dempsey Irish whips him into the corner. And a strong Irish whip into that one. And oh, he went for a spear, but Charles called him into a DDT. Oh, what a good knee, up, a knee uppercut. Knee side uppercut. That was a good move by Charles, but Bull Dempsey is back already. And Bull Dempsey with the German suplex launching Charles to land on his stomach. What a throw by Dempsey. Bull, as he's called. Bull Dempsey. He's in, in real NXT, Bull Dempsey is just is this large fucker who is really kinda like a beast. Calls himself the last outlaw, I think, something like that. Um uh, the last of a dying no, the last of a dying breed. That's what he said. Oh, what a move by Charles! But um, yeah. So Bull Dempsey, he's out to try to make a make a good statement in his debut match against Charles Jackson. Uh oh, oh, look at this! Look at this move! Oh, what a move by Bull Dempsey! Oh, and a leg drop by Bull. Oh, Charles is up though. Charles, haven't seen much of Charles lately, but he's here. Oh, what a move by Charles. These guys are going at it. What a move there by Charles. Oh, and a punch! Bull Dempsey, these guys still battling back and forth. Bull Dempsey with a... Oh, look at Bull now! Stomping away at him! Pulling Bull Dempsey, or pulling Charles away from the ropes. Uh oh, Charles is up on Bull Dempsey, catches him immediately, puts him in a headlock, and just tosses him over in a scoop slam. 
Uh oh, Booth Dempsey. Oh, what a move by Bull. Not enough to put Charles away. Two. Now kick out at two. Oh, what's Charles gonna do? What's Charles gonna do? Oh, what a move by Charles. Charles goes for the pin on Bull Dempsey. One, two, kick out at two by Bull Dempsey. Oh, what a move by Charles. Goes for the pin, Charles does. One, two, no, two. Bull kicks out at two. kick to the face. Charles goes for the pin again. One. Kick out at one this time by Bull Dempsey. I'll go for a submission. Referee right in the way. Is Bull going to tap out? No, Bull. Bull picks up Charles and drops him on his back. Bull goes for the pin. Kick out at one by Charles. Wow, Charles picks up Bull Dempsey like he's nothing. Bull Dempsey raking the eyes and a flying body pin. Two, kick out at two by Charles. Oh, what's Bull gonna do? Oh, what a, oh crap, what does Jack Swagger call that move? I'm not sure he did it, but he did something. Bull's going to go for the pin. Bull Dempsey pins Charles. One, two, kick out at two by Charles. Belly to belly throw. Goes for the pin again. One, two, kick out at two by Charles. What a move there by Bull. Going to drag Charles away from the ropes again. Kick out at two again by Charles. Bull Dempsey's throwing everything he possibly has against Charles. Oh, uh, he's going to do it again. He's going for the body slam. Body slam again. He's going to pin Charles again. Or maybe, uh, okay, he's going to drag him away from the ropes. Is that enough? to put Charles away. One, two, three, it's over. Bull Dempsey wins. Here is your winner, Bull Dempsey. Bull Dempsey is your winner. And what an impressive way to start off episode 39 of What's going to happen next? Welcome back to NXT. Up next, another debut. Baron Corbin. In his debut match, he will take on the icon Sting. I can't wait to see how this one's going to play out. Anytime now. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, he is the icon Sting.
Introducing his opponents. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin, this man, he is roughly seven feet tall. He is unstoppable, or at least he claims to be unstoppable, Baron Corbin. He's, but his first challenge in NXT is none other than the icon, Sting. Baron Corbin already with the upper hand on Sting. Sting already gets him well with a good backbreaker right there. Sting is obviously a lot shorter than Baron Corbin, which is a surprise at how Sting can lift him. Baron Corbin, he comes up from the independent circuit. He is very, very, very well known and respected. A reverse by Sting. Sting's, be, Sting's going very technical wrestling on Baron Corbin right now. Baron Corbin is all about strength. It's all about power for Corbin. And Sting picks him up and gives him a tombstone. And a DDT. Is that enough to put Baron Corbin away? Corbin hasn't really been able to get the starting gate against Sting. Two, kick out at two. Uh, Sting was trying to do something there. Baron Corbin comes back. Collar elbow tie up. Sting gets the upper hand. Uh oh. Sting's on the outside. He has Corbin on the outside. And oh, what a DDT on the ring apron. One. The referee's up to a one count. Remember, this is no this this is not a no DQ match. They're both back in the ring now. Corbin, he's got to try to fight back against Sting. Sting with a good clothesline. And Sting with an elbow to the face. section by Baron Corbin. That was almost a low blow as Corbin sets up Sting. Oh, what a running drop kick to the head. Goes for the pin. One kick out at one. L arm, a headlock, and then to a body drag. There and now elbow to the back. Now Baron Corbin starting to try to pick apart Sting. He's, he's got him by the face, got him in a submission. Referee gets to get in position. Is Sting going to tap out? Is he going to quit? Well, I think he's Sting. No, I'll say, I thought Sting might be unconscious there, but. Oh, look at this. Speaks going for sleeper holds. Sting reverses into a sleeper hold of his own on Baron Corbin. Fans chanting for Baron Corbin. And Baron Corbin reverses Sting's submission. Oh, he's calling for it. He is calling for it. Sting's up. 
Oh, the sting reverses! Sting's got him into the Scorpion Death Drop! Scorpion Death Drop on Corbin! One, two, three! It's over! Sting wins! Here is your winner, Sting! Sting with the victory here at NXT, but what's gonna happen next? Welcome back to NXT. Up next we have... Divas action. We have Charlotte versus her once friend turned enemy, Sasha Banks. Sasha into the Irish whip Sasha into the corner. Now she's gonna Irish whip Sasha into the other corner and runs and wow just chops her. And now Sasha reverses and a running knee to the face and a bulldog. Shades of CM Punk. Oh and what a backbreaker. And a drop kick. Sasha is starting to take control now. And a flying forearm by Charlotte. Oh, kick to the gut. Sasha picks her up and slams her down. Went to pick up Charlotte, but Charlotte reverses now, punching in the face. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, Charlotte. Just dropping elbows. Now slam Charlotte's head straight into the mat. Charlotte. Charlotte taking control of this match. And with the turning neck breaker by Charlotte. Sasha trying to come back now. Sasha goes for the pin. Only gets a one count. Oh, good arm drag there by Charlotte. Good drop kick taken at the leg by Sasha. Sasha trying to come back in this match. Charlotte has Sasha up on the top rope. Grabs her. 
Oh, slams her down throat by the throat. Uh oh, Charlotte picks up Sasha. And knee breaker, bat, whatever. Backbreaker. Oh, Sasha's in trouble, natural selection. One, two, three, it's over. Charlotte wins. Here is your winner, Charlotte. Charlotte picks up the win, but we still got plenty of matches left here on NXT. Stay tuned. Welcome back to NXT. Another name we haven't seen in a long time. Chris Dollarton makes his return as he fights Hideo Atami. All this coming up next here on NXT episode 39. who takes down Hideo. Haven't seen Chris Dollarton wrestling for quite a long time. Chris Dollarton fighting against Hideo and Tommy. We forgot to mention, I believe that we are about three weeks away from NXT TakeOver, in which we will see live action from the NXT Arena, championships on the line, and much, much more. That's about three weeks from now, so stay tuned. NXT TakeOver, get your tickets now. to the ring. Uh, Chris Dollarton was celebrating in, in, in Hideo Count, uh, called him while he was in the middle of it. But look at Chris Dollarton. He's just fighting all over Hideo. And Hideo kicks up. Hideo kicks up running knee to the face. Goes for the pin on Hideo. One. Kick out of one. Running knees to the face by Hideo Atami. But you see Chris Dogton already fighting back and keeping Hideo pinned to the ground. Oh, what a move there by Dollarton. Dollarton gets out of the ring. Oh, Hideo fighting back. Hideo, Hideo's got him going for the submission. That's, that's, it's still a bell lock. 
the LaBelle lock used by Daniel Bryan, but Dollar Tank gets out of it. Oh, and a move there by Hideo Tommy. Picks him up, but Chris Ogden fights back and slams him down onto the floor again. And then I need to the back of the head. champion Preston Plort is in action against Danny Wells. So we'll definitely have to see what this is going to be like. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, he is the NXT champion Preston his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Danny Wells. This is a non-title match. But we've heard from Preston Plort saying that he would defend his title against anybody. But the re but general manager of NXT William Regal has made this a non-title match between Danny Wells and Preston Plort. However, what could happen if we see Danny Wells win this match? What could possibly what what could, could he possibly be in the championship hunt then? Ready with the upper hand already on Preston. Danny Wells, like I said, 
upper hand in this match. He, he's still with the good upper hand. Preston has to try to mount offense. That's a strong Irish whip into the corner. And Preston picks him up and gives him so. Oh, I thought he was going to give him an airplane spin. Oh, and what a, what a suplex or fisherman suplex that was. Almost like an attitude adjustment. And a Samoan drop. Super kick by Danny Wells. That's got to have knocked Preston Plort out. And to add insult to injury, he's just pounding him in the face. Yeah. Danny Wells with a good shoulder tackle right there. Gonna go get him. Got him in like a headlock. He's got, oh, he's showing off now. Danny Wells showing off. Drop kick by Wells. Danny picking him up and a kick to the midsection. Picks up and a DDT. What a DDT that was. Wells goes for the pin. One, two, kick out at two by Dan by uh at the kick out at two by Preston Plor, the champion. Danny throws Preston outside of the ring. What's Danny doing? Preston Plor trying to fight back. He's gonna do it. German suplex. Throws Danny back in the ring. Does Preston? Preston over the top rope. Danny in trouble. No, Danny reverses him. Oh, the famous sir. Kick to the arm there. Another kick to the arm by Danny. Now Danny goes for another headlock. Another headlock and a headstand. He's showing off again. Danny with the zigzag, the zigzag. Danny Wells gets him. He's using the ropes. Wells using the ropes. Referee doesn't see it. And he wins. Danny Wells picks up the victory. Go and hate me. Hate me. Hate go, go and hate me. Hate Here is your winner. Danny Wells. Danny Wells picks up the victory. What could that mean? Could that put him in the title picture? What's going to happen? Welcome back to NXT. We're getting closer to our main event. But up next, it's Dylan Pote and Chris Washer. This is all happening live on the Mike Hinley Man 93 channel live well sort of live it recorded but it's live and it's all happening at Orlando Florida in the NXT arena at Full Sail University
And this match gets underway. See the Poti already. Chris Walsh are these two fighting. Dylan Poti, single, first singles competition in a long time. He's been, he's usually been in, in his tag team with Sheen Sides. But tonight, wait a minute, Sami Zayn! What's happening with Sami Zayn? What? Are they forming some kind of alliance? No! Zayn attacking Poti! Sami Zayn just out of nowhere attacks Dylan Poti! Chris Washer goes for the pin, but Poti kicks out immediately. What was that all about? Dylan Poti. Oh, what a drop kick by what a uh, kick. What an integrated kick by Poti. Poti has no idea what in the world just happened. Sh uh, Shane size. Sami Zayn comes out of nowhere, thinks she's gonna form some kind of alliance with Poti. Poti is saying, "Yeah, me and you're worth it. Let's, let's attack Chris Washer." But then Sami Zayn is out of nowhere, starts beating the holy hell out of Sami Zayn. I mean, wow. Out of Dylan Poti. <laughs> wow, that was an epic fail. But anyways, Chris Washer now starting to get the upper hand as, ever since that attack. Poti tried to mount some kind of charge. Here he comes again. He's trying. Poti kicking him in the head. And a Russian leg sweep by Dylan Poti. Poti. Poti trying to prove that even with Sami Zayn's attack, he can still win. Goes for the pin. He got it too. Oh! Another Insiguri kick to the back of the head. Poti on the top rope, and Chris Washer gets him. Chris Washer now goes to the top rope and throws Poti down. Poti begin to fight back and Insiguri kick to the side of the head again. Poti, Poti's calling for something. What's he calling for? what's going to happen. That was a very unique finishing move by Dylan Poti, but Chris Washer kicks out at one. Good move there by Washer. Washer trying to fight back, and a good elbow drop there. Poti trying to fight back. He's got him. He's got to go for a suplex. Oh, what a good suplex there by Poti. Oh, Chris Washer reverses. These two run at each other. Poti kicks him in the gut again. He's going to give him a no. He's reversed. That's got to be it. One all rope break. Oh, he's going for it again. Dylan Poti going for his finishing move again. Oh. Here he goes for the pin. One, two, three. It's over. Dylan Poti gets the victory.
Washer showing respect. Chris Washer showing respect to Poteet. That's ladies and gentlemen, NXT. We got one more match, main event, coming up next. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the main event. It's Rick and Nick Ballard, or Rick and blah, 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 blah. Rick Norman and Nick Ballardo, the tag team champions, versus Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. What's going to happen in this tag team match? We're going to have to find out as it's coming up next. Champions, Rick Norman and Nick Bellardo. for the teammates here. Arguing over who's going to start the match. And it looks like Rick Rick Norman is the one that's going to start the match against Big Cass. Oh, and Colin Cassidy just throws Rick over the top rope immediately. Call it now, and then Enzo Amore just throws Rick Norman into the, ri into the ring for Colin Cassidy. Colin Cassidy is seven feet tall. He's going to Irish whip him into the corner hard. Colin Cassidy's going to pick up Rick and just throw him across the ring. Now Rick throws Colin Cassidy over. This is a big feat for someone who's seven feet tall. And a clothesline by Big Cass. Uh, here comes Rick Norman starting to fight back a little bit. No, oh, what a punch by Colin Cassidy. Enzo Amore trying to get involved to help out his teammate here. Oh, Enzo, I think just punched Cassidy. Big Cass, as they call him, takes down, takes down Rick Norman. Rick Norman's in the wrong corner. Rick Norman reverses. Puts him up on the top. Uh-oh, what's Rick going to do? Punches him. Enzo's just watching. It's going to be a seven-foot superplex. Rick Norman immediately up. He's going to try. I think he's... Rick, Nick Bellardo wants in this match really badly. Rick Norman going to... Nick Rick Norman going to run and tag in Nick Bellardo. Nick Bellardo is in the match now. Colin Cash is going to run and tag in Enzo Amore. Uh, Colin Cassidy holding Nick. He's holding him in the corner. Enzo Moore says something. Give him a big chop. Enzo Moore reverses Nick Bellardo. Misses with 
this kick. And Enzo takes down Nick Bellardo with a good move. Rick Norman is probably probably regretting tagging Nick, but Nick Bellardo, the referee's taken out. Referee's taken out. But he gets back up immediately like nothing happened. Goes for the pin, Enzo does. One, kick out of one by Bellardo. The tag team champions. Who knows what could happen in this? Nick Bellardo's trying to fight back against Amore. Enzo, oh, with a suplex. Now Rick Norman holding Enzo. Rick Norman holding Enzo. And now they're both in here. Oh, and a knee to the gut. And Enzo falls. And a good flying forearm by Enzo Amore. Uh-oh. Oh, what a move right there. That was like a modified Famouser. Uh-oh, Rick no or Nick Bellardo's not happy in a super kick! Goes for the pin, one! Uh, kick out of one by Enzo. Uh, Nick was gonna try to tag in Rick, but Enzo stopped him before he could do it, and an insecure kick to the back of the head. Uh-oh, Enzo. One-two combinations here by Enzo. Oh, what a good combination of punches by Enzo Amori. Takes down Nick Blardo. And Colin Cassidy gets into the ring. And Nick Blardo just kicks out at two. Oh, what a running drop kick there by Nick. Uh-oh, Nick's calling for something here. Goes for the pin on him. One, two, three. No! Enzo just kicks out at two. Oh, Rick Norman. Attack to Rick Norman by, by Nick Bellardo. Takes down takes down Enzo Amore. But Colin Cassidy reverses. Cassidy reverses. Nick Bo uh, Rick Norman. Oh, what a move. Enzo pushes Rick away and tags in Big Cass. Alright, a kick to the gut by Big Cass, but... Oh, Rick, oh, Rick Norman reverses Cassidy and drops him down on his face. Oh, what a move by Rick Norman! And takes out Enzo Amore. And a kick out by Colin Cassidy at two. Good takedown there by Rick Norman. Rick Norman is outside, comes and jumps in, but misses Colin Cassidy. The other two are still fighting outside the ring, and a big boot to the face. Goes for the pin. One, two, kick out a two by Rick Norman. I'm not sure what Enzo Moray is doing, or excuse me, Colin Cassidy right now. Uh-oh, Cassidy outside the ring. He's got Rick planted for a DDT, and a DDT to the ring apron. That is the hardest part of the ring. That could have just knocked him out. Oh, Rick's up. Colin Cassidy tosses him into the steel barrier. But Rick Norman reverses, and here comes Enzo. Enzo into the mix here. Rick Norman back into the ring. I don't know what the referee's up to. Good slam there by Colin Cassidy. He tags in Enzo Amore. Rick Norman not happy with Enzo or anything that's going on right now. Oh, what a move by Rick Norman! Wow, that was amazing. 
Following Cam uh, Enzo Wow, that's fucking suck today. Enzo Amore reverses. Enzo goes for the pin. One, two. No, kick out at two by Rick. Oh, Enzo got it. Contest got a two ball. Look at this double team move here. Double team move by both of them. Takes down Rick Norman. Now, uh, she moving Rick away from the Avery Goes for the pinfall. One, two, and Nick Ballardo breaks it up. Oh, uh, Rick Norman reverses into the corner. Oh, uh, Rick Norman. Oh, but Enzo reverses immediately. Throws Rick Norman off of him. And Enzo Jackson gets him into the into the ring ropes here. And Enzo tags in a big cast. Takes out Rick Norman. It's, oh, wait, Nick Bellardo reverses it, too. Bellardo reverses it, too. Oh, what a move by Norman. What a new blah, 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 move by Rick Norman. Rick Norman going crazy right now. Wait, Nick tagged himself in. Nick tagged himself in. Rick Norman was not happy about it. Wow, what a toss by Colin Cassidy. Goes for a submission style move right here. Rick Norman breaks it up though. Gets a cheap shot in on Colin Cassidy. Goes for another submission style move right here. Enzo gets there but not in time. Nick Ballardo reverses. Into a good takedown. Goes for the pin. Rope break. Damn, come on. Someone win this damn match already. Wow, Nick Blardo just tosses him over. And oh, what a no, he moved. Colin Cassidy moved out of the way. And a high knee. Cassidy tags in. Amore. Crowd is going absolutely insane. Enzo is going to move Nick away from the ropes. Goes for the pinfall. One, two, kick out at two. Shoulder, elbow takedown there. Now they're going to move Cassidy away from the ropes. Goes for the pin. The referee, one, two, kick, and, and, and Colin Cassidy breaks it up. Damn, these two are fighting forever. Big, big, four, a big forearm there by Enzo. Enzo is punched away at the face of Nick Bellardo. Versus Enzo. Gets a moving on to Enzo and look at this German suplex. And a T-bone suplex pin. One, two, three. It's over. Nick Bellardo gets the victory. The champions win. Here are your Time here.